Anthropology, ethnography, psychology, the study about us, without us, our spirits, our cultures, our traditions, through your lens, deconstructing our struggle while our communities are dismantled and left in rubble. Yeah, today's podcast for a poverty scholar is dedicated to all my brothers and sister poverty scholars currently trying to sleep on a bus bench, a park bench, a doorway, or anywhere that we aren't predated on by polite politricksters every day in America, KKK. Today's podcast from a poverty scholar is dedicated to all those conscious people who love and listen to poor people's voices, who don't marginalize and profiteer off of us, but actually lift up. Today's podcast from a poverty scholar is dedicated to the concept of poor people led versus poor people said. So yeah, today I'm going to drop a little 411 about the upcoming Poor People's Campaign that is launching 40 Days of Action that was launched by, launched by a powerful, conscious reverend named Reverend Barber back east and is joined by congregations and pastors all across Turtle Island. Marches have already happened and events have already happened. Shout out to the First Congregational Church in Oakland, Wichin. But today's podcast from a poverty scholar is challenging that campaign. That campaign that is modeled after Dr. King and the other beautiful Poor People's Campaign 40 years ago which was a different time, a different America KKK embedded with racism and classism that looked a different way. But in 21st century America KKK, or what I call AmeriClan, we can't have marches and campaigns that are not led by the impacted people. And so, again, all love and respect, this is not about ish talking. I don't move that way. This is about a challenge to redistribute some of those grant dollars that the Poor People's Campaign has gotten to us poor people who are launching a different march. Our march is poor people-led. We're going to be walking along with our unhoused brothers and sisters from Philadelphia to Washington, D.C., joining and sleeping in tents and sleeping bags along the streets where we are, Uh, people from all across Turtle Island, joining folks in Philly and Washington, D.C. to lift up poor people-led solutions. Because like I always say, no matter how many times you study me, it doesn't give me a home. No matter how many times you sweep me, it doesn't take my homelessness away. And no matter how many times you put me in jail for the poverty crime of not having access to a roof, it doesn't give me a home. So we are lifting up solutions like First They Came for the Homeless in Berkeley, which has just taken uh, land by Caltrans and has created a beautiful village. Uh, Movements like the Homefulness Project in Deep East Wichin, Ohlone Land, Oakland, which is us poor people, us houseless mamas and uncles and children building our own self-determination, building our own solutions because we have solutions and we know them really well because we're living them. And this podcast is a challenge to not only talk about poverty, but to be about leadership. And the designing and the movement of that Poor People's Campaign was mostly middle class led. There might be some po' folks up in there, no disrespect. But the ways in which those grant dollars create guidelines that keep things in certain lines inhibit a different conversation that us poor people are having about homelessness today. So again, we're putting out a challenge to all you conscious folks to redistribute some of those dollars into our 
little GoFundMe, which you can get at economichumanrights.org. Again, economichumanrights.org, because folks like us at Poor Magazine and Poor People's Economic Human Rights Campaign are in fact PO. And we don't even have money for the plane tickets to get back east or the bus tickets or the train tickets. We don't have money for gas and food. And so we're asking for folks to actually redistribute some of your resources to us poor people-led movement, as well to walk with us shoulder to shoulder in a poor people-led march. Again, we're leaving Philadelphia June 2nd and walking with our brothers and sisters on the street to Washington, D.C. on June 12th. Join us, walk with us, be with us, uh, and take the leadership of poor people-led movements really seriously so that instead of our voices being inhibited, instead of people not wanting to talk about projects like homefulness, we can talk about them ourselves and we can stop the difficulty that happens oftentimes uh, where movements about disability and poverty are done about us without us. As well, uh, if you want to find out more about the march, you can find Poor People's Economic Human Rights Campaign on Face Crack, I mean Facebook. And as well, if you want to support homefulness, we have a, a campaign that includes a really beautiful T-shirt and sweatshirt with original art by one of our Solidarity family members, Roan Boucher, on Goodlink. That's G-O-O-D-L-I-N-K slash homefulness. Or excuse me, goodlink.com slash homefulness. Check us out because... We're trying to build, us poor folks, our own solution, but we can't do it without your support. In the end, think about walking with us, lifting up a poor people-led movement, and joining us in making sure that a campaign about poverty is not about us without us.